oral microbiome and dental caries, otherwise known as tooth decay or cavities. Now let's take a closer look at what's going on behind your smile. Dental caries is a unique infection of the dental hard tissues that results from a mix of microbiota colonizing the oral cavity. This condition is mediated by biofilm formation, where bacteria adhere to tooth surfaces and produce acids that demineralize the tooth enamel. The surfaces and areas between the teeth are particularly susceptible to caries development due to the accumulation of plaque and difficulty in cleaning. Diet microbiota interactions play a significant role, with sugary and acidic foods and drinks providing a favorable environment for carcinogenic bacteria to thrive and produce acids. Hosts and behavioral factors also contribute, including oral hygiene practices, smoking, and alcohol consumption, which can impact the balance of oral microbiota and increase susceptibility to caries. Access to dental care is crucial as regular checkups and professional cleanings allow for early detection and intervention to prevent the progression of caries and maintain oral health. Here I just included a little schematic of the stages of caries development so you all can see what I'm talking about when I reference the enamel. Um, as you can see in the first picture here, we can see the enamel is the outer hard surface of the tooth and the caries that's labeled is the dark spot that eventually chews through and gets to the pulp of the tooth, which is the very center, and that causes a variety of infections and disease. As you can see from the previous slide, a dysbiosis in your oral microbiome can cause some serious issues, kind of like a domino effect. So dental caries can lead to tooth sensitivity, pain, and eventual loss, affecting chewing ability and overall oral function. Oral inflammation also commonly accompanies dental caries, contributing to discomfort and compromised oral health. Untreated caries may progress to periodontal disease, causing gum inflammation, bone loss, and tooth mobility. And in addition to that, dental caries have been associated with systemic diseases and complications, an example of that would be endocarditis, where the oral bacteria enter the bloodstream and infect the heart. On uh, the financial side of things, the financial burden of treating advanced dental caries, including things like restorative procedures and tooth loss, can be significant for individuals and healthcare systems. In addition, the quality of life may negatively be impacted by chronic dental problems, affecting things like your self-esteem, social interactions, and overall well-being. Now, what can you do to avoid all of those complications and keep a healthy balance in your oral microbiome? For starters, adopting good hygiene habits such as brushing your teeth twice a day with fluoride toothpaste and flossing regularly helps remove plaque and prevent dental caries. In addition to that, routine visits to the dentist for checkups and cleanings are essential for early detection and treatment of dental caries. Like I mentioned, fluoride toothpaste is great, but in addition to that, patients can use fluorinated water or get professional fluoride treatments to strengthen tooth enamel and prevent tooth decay. Patients can also consider incorporating probiotics, prebiotics, symbiotics, and postbiotics into their oral care routine to promote a healthy oral microbiome and reduce the risk of caries. Now, education here plays a crucial role in empowering individuals to make informed decisions about their oral health, including proper oral hygiene practices and dietary choices. Also, Early intervention is key to preventing the progression of dental caries and minimizing the need for extensive dental treatments. And these are my references. Thank you all so much for listening to my presentation. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.